Yeah. So Hashem says, Abram is going to be, wow, should I hide from Abram about stone? Abram is going to be a tremendous nation because I know that he will command his children and his household after him and they will keep the way of Hashem to do tzedakah un mishpat. Tzedakah righteousness and justice. So Rasta explains, tzedakah un mishpat is two different yonim. Two different yonim. On the one hand, person has to know that it's impossible for the world to live only in Mishpat. You can't live absolutely in justice. It doesn't work that way. It's impossible. On the other hand, you also can't live only in stuck. You can't live only in, oh, it's all good, it's going to be fine. You have to live also to Mishpat. You have to be righteous, too. You have to have two different beginnings. You have to, right? you have to Righteousness and justice. You can't live in justice, you can't live in unrighteousness. Like, the kind of stuck, you want charity from Hashem, waiting for Hashem, you should. We also have to do our part. We have to do what we can. So, there's two different So, on the one hand, we have to know no matter what, I'm going to do the best I can, I have to do what I can, how I can. On the other hand, no matter how things work out, I'm going to be mishap. And that's stuck. So, Hashem's stuck. And that's really what it comes down to. That's always, I always bring this to beautiful measures. Shabbat Bitochen, Hashem. Shabbat Bitochen, that. Medrash says Medrash says that Adam uh, Rosha is many, many wounds, many pains, and the one who trusts in Hashem will be surrounded by kindness. So we're talking about Russia here, and even a Russia who trusts to Hashem, he'll be surrounded by kindness. And that's what we need to know, we need to understand Hashem is taking care of everything, we can do everything we possibly can. Very, very mistazik, very, very chazak, very, very yearning, wanting, wanting, yearning, keep trying, trying, no matter what. And, you know, Rabbi Nachman and Nassim were very worried about this person giving up too much justice. Always be careful, too much justice, not too much justice, just to have the right amount, but you have to work on, on, on the justice. But you also have to have this bechina of the stuck of the shams. You have to learn about stuck. It's kind of stuck. You should just live everything stuck. You can't live with that without stuck. Like a Nassim tells his son, you're upset that you did this, so you fell here, you made this mistake, and your estimation is very serious. But you don't realize that even if you've done everything 100% right, you still didn't do everything 100% right. Because nobody can serve Hashem 100% right. You have to do the best you can. Do your best not to fall. But if Hashem fell, it's not, it shouldn't break you. Why is it breaking you? Well, because I have this guy with me that I want to be like picture perfect. Well, that's not exactly a good meter. It's not a good meter. Like you gotta get rid of the guy. The guy isn't real. The guy is not real. It's not. And so that's a lot of you know when we when we say Ashayotza, that's part of what Rav Nelson says Ashayotza is about. It's the chin of Anava. Anava, no guy but trying to deal with Anava and the, and the guy with Sora. You're like, hey, this person, you have to get rid of the Psoras. What's this Psoras? I have to keep getting rid of this tendency to Gaiva, tendency to arrogance, to, to hubris, to Anava Psula. Afli Lasso is fine in the balance. He says, it's not simple. It's a pella. She must have wanted to be a pella. Too much din, too much rachim in the recess. So the Rasta explains, the shot is too much, too much, too much. And then we were speaking about, about it before. I said, you have to have, everything's exactly calibrated, precisely right. Precisely right, precisely the way it's supposed to be. So now we have to get to this place of not the wrong kind of guy, but not this guy, but not that guy. The only thing he's going to wake up in the Tchia is going to be Shifra Sanama. Right? And he understands. It's the kind of Shema. He says, the kind of Shema also. He said, yeah, everything is from Hashem. It's all Hashem. It's all you. You gave it. You gave it all. You gave it. You take everything. Right? Machs and Hashem is of Koran Mason. So he said, yeah, this Bechin of the Shifra. That's what's going to wake up. So he's not going to say, it's just going to wake up as a real person. It's a Shifra. That's the real person. Everything else is to you. Hashem shows Bizocher, big spiders, to stay connected no matter what, to wait for Hashem Yeshua, and to find and realize Hashem Yeshua. Amen.